What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode where today we are in cup action. I am Brew Cup third round at home to Stenhouse Muir and then we've got a tricky home game to top of the table Montrose. Now as you can see the wheels have started to come off on our fine start of the season. We just lost four goals to two to Stenhouse Muir. Uh, Darren Lavery and Kevin Wall on the score sheet. Not quite sure how we lost that one because the result doesn't reflect our performance. Now I know I sound like a manager with a thousand excuses uh, lying around here somewhere but in my opinion, it was a harsh result. But Peterhead, yeah, we deserved to lose. That was just ridiculous. Uh, we managed to get two goals into it. But we had to credit our goalkeeper for that, for their three points. The worst first touch I have seen for a, a long time. It was a simple pass back. All he had to do was control it. Oh, but oh at the best just clear it into the stand i don't care what he does but no he decides to control the ball hits it five yards ahead of him pretty much gives it to the the opponent striker and he scores the easiest goal of his career so yeah i'm still a, a rather bit annoyed about that but never mind we, we'll move on it still leaves us in six in the table we've still got a chance to turn it around and hopefully get back in the top four but then again you look at montrose and where they're going at the minute they're playing pretty well so i'm not that confident uh, the squad, only one injury to report, and that's Jamie Chapman, but he should be back in a day. Uh, he had a lower, yeah, a gashed lower leg. He was out for two weeks. Uh, so he's back soon. And aside from that, the team as follows. I've gone to the wrong tab, but the team as follows. We got Robbie McCrory back. The saviour is back. He is in goal. Uh, Chris McDonald on the left, Kevin Wall and Johnny Fairbin in the centre of our defence. Stephen Notman on the right. Uh, midfield is Brian Ross and Kieran Stewart. And obviously the three at the top here, we've got Darren Lavery, uh, Stephen Thompson and Michael McKenna. And up front, I've decided to put Aaron Morrell back up there because, uh, to be honest, McGrath isn't playing too well. Simple as that. So let's get right to it. I'm ready to go. I've got a cup of tea. And like like the message says, let's make this episode awesome. Let's make today awesome. And I think I just spilt some bloody tea everywhere. I'll tell you what, this tea's bloody awful. I think, I think it's nothing worse than having cold tea. Oh, Jesus. We've got to put it right. We've got a good turn out here, guys. I want a response. I want us to get into the next round of the cup. It's... Uh, kicking things off and it's Stenhouse Muir with the ball but we got it back there you go and Stewart finds Thompson he loses the ball but Ross wins it back McKenna can he get the ball in the box he's good at crossing he is what a goal Aaron Morrell there you go 20 seconds into it or 27 seconds into it we're 1-0 up uh, that's the sort of start I'm talking about that's what we wanted to do hit them straight away uh, it's a brilliant goal what a cross by uh, Brian Ross though to find Michael McKenna, who's good at crossing the ball himself. That's a decent finish from Aaron Morrell. Uh, I'm sure he was waiting a long time to get back on the pitch to do that. So a good start, but I'm not going to be happy keeping it like this. We need to get more. We need to attack. In fact, what are we? what is our mentality at the minute? It's on standard. I want to try and go and control it, control the game. We're, we are pretty good at doing that. Uh, if there's one thing I'll say about the last game at Peterhead, I did go sort of overload. And we were actually playing pretty well towards the end when we got the goal. Before the goalkeeper and that stupid mistake. To be fair though, I could blame the goalkeeper all day long. It, we, it, we, were, we were pretty bad. It's just that the goalkeeper really upset me with his stupid touch. But here comes McKenna. Can he make it two? Oh, oh, that's nice. But Romero gets it. There you go. I thought McKenna was just about to mess that up there right towards the end. But Morel was there. And that's his second goal of the game. Aaron Morel back with a vengeance. And uh, again, it was a decent ball through. McKenna was there. I mean, look what McKenna was doing. It was, it was almost, it would have been a nice goal if McKenna had got that. But uh, it doesn't matter. It is two goals to nil. And uh, hopefully now we can win this game and it sends us to Montrose full of confidence. <laughs> I don't think we're going to beat them. I'd be happy with a draw, I've got to say. But, um, yeah, that is the way... Oh, I thought that was going to be a goal. Be a goal. Can we get a third goal before half time? What a domination. Let's get a, let's, let's just win in style. Let's, you know, let's get four goals here, you know. Four, maybe five. You know, ent entertain the fans that have turned up in this awful weather. Uh, Stenhouse Muir are going to be attacking. He's through, and there you go. N no, no pressure. 
I want to know who's put that seat right in front of that uh, walkway because that's a healthy safety hazard if I've ever, if I've ever seen it. I don't care if there's nobody there that shouldn't be there. In fact, what what is the point of putting a chair there anyway? I don't know. Got to have a word with some of these guys who are operating this stadium. Right, Notman. Oh, well, don't know what that was about. But if Ross finds Lavery Thompson, can Morel get a hat trick? That'd be interesting. Can he get his first hat trick of the season? Notman finds Ross. It's a good bit of passing. Trying to break down this defence. And it was a decent effort. Great move by us. Probably should have done better towards the end. Well, so far, so good. I keep saying that every episode, but it is so far so good. Here comes Morel. He's going to get his hat trick. What a goal. Aaron Morel. Wow, he is back with a vengeance. This guy. I'll tell you what. Why didn't I play him? The last time we played Stenhouse Muir, he may have won, the, won us the game. But it's a great ball in by McKenna. He is definitely, definitely our best player at the minute, McKenna. I know I talked about the goalkeeper uh, a couple of episodes ago, but Michael McKenna is... Now I know. I know that he is our best player so far. Still a miserable git, though. <laughs> i got to say. I mean, I tried to... He won play of the month, so I tried to praise him. Well done, Michael. You, you played brilliant. Yeah, well... Can I just get back to my game now? I know I could play a bit better. Oh, so that, that, what's up with the guy? You, you're pretty much the best player in this football club right now. And I, I, you should be at least, you know... All right, and here comes McKenna. Oh, I should have scored. But you, know, you should at least be happy and ecstatic that we are worshipping your skills right now. But no, he's not. He's, he's not happy. I suspect, though, that he's, he's waiting for a big move. It, it wouldn't surprise me if that'll happen. And he'll be a nightmare to deal with. Right, Thompson, he's got to find Morel. Surely, can Morel, he's going to get four goals. Can he get four goals today? That'll be that be interesting. The Morel demolition. Uh, that's that's what we're looking at here. Here he is now. Morel, there was a bad pass. He, uh, well, I would say a bad pass. He, he was unlucky there. Defender read it well. Uh, can we defend? We give a clean sheet. That's that's the, the important thing. Let's try and keep a clean sheet. It's getting to half time. The domination of Berwick Rangers. We need to try and keep that up in the second half. Uh, I don't really want to. Just yeah, just leave it simple. Send them out happy. Because obviously the morale at the minute is a, is pretty low. I don't think they're enjoying their football for some reason. I don't know why that is. I mean, I don't play boring football. I want to play good football. Pass the ball around. Attack, attack, attack. Why Why would they be so low on morale? But then they've, they've done the flip side of things. The players are happy with my performance. So, what do you believe? Right there, Ross Thompson. We get some... Oh, he finds Lavery. Oh, that, that would have been a nice goal. That would have been a nice goal. So, I don't know what to make of that. I don't know if that makes any sense. They're happy with the way I'm managing the team, but they're not happy with the way we're playing football. I don't... I, do you know what? I'm reading too much into it. A decent tackle there, and we're on the break. Lavery, he's going to try and find McKenna. He does. Surely McKenna's going to score. That's a decent try. Uh, but there you go. Gets cleared away. Performances. I mean, the morale is on 9.5. He's on the best game of his season so far perhaps of his whole career actually um i'll tell you what if he keeps this type of performances up you, you, um, i'm afraid jason mcgrath will be finding himself on the bench for quite some time because mcgrath since that since he scored that goal he's not really done much to be honest with you um might take off some players though i might bring on murray loudon i want to try and put him on the wing so whether that whether he be in place of mckenna i'm not too sure because the job I would say he's pretty much done here. Touch wood. I don't want to don't want to jinx the situation like I always do. There's not much going on at the minute. I'm think I might just I see how everyone's getting on first because we've got a big game after this. The job's done. I think it makes sense to just keep our players, our best players, fresh. But if I take off McKenna, it might upset him. He's a sensitive soul. That one. He really is. We'll just wait a second. We'll wait a few minutes because I tell you what, I don't want him kicking down the dressing room door demanding to know why I, I took him off <laughs> that's how I would envision it by the way um, 
But anyway, it's all looking good. It's job done. And I'm happy. I'm happy I can forget about our last game against these lot. Uh, just with the fact that we go to win this game. Or are we? Or are we? Oh, it's a brilliant save by McCroy, of course. Uh, Lavery finds Thompson. We're on the break again. I want Morel to get four goals today. So I, might, I might lead him on. So, but they're making some changes. We're going to make some changes shortly, actually. In fact, I'm going to do it now. We are making changes. So Morel's on 9.6. And Lavery... We're, we're can't allow him, he can't play on the right. So we'll take, we'll take Lavery off then. Labour will have to suffer. And we'll put Loudon on. We'll keep him as a winger. I think everybody else seems to be... I mean, Stewart's on 6.9. 70% uh, is fine. It's, we'll, um, we're going to do... We'll leave, it, leave that as it is. We'll leave that as it is. Oh, I've just paused the game. So Murray Loudon is going to be coming on shortly. In place of Darren Lavery. And it's a free kick. Right, let's see what the young Murray Loudon can offer. I did have him on trial, if you remember. He didn't do too bad. So I had to sign him on a permanent deal. McDonald's on a yellow card. And so is Notman, actually. What is going on? Why is he... Why, we all, they were getting booked all the time. Well, are you going to take him off? McKinley's coming on. I don't have a right side of defender. I've left... Uh, well, I can't because Godinho is on... Is on, on loan. He's on international duty. So, I keep doing it. Why do I keep pausing the game? So, we can't play uh, Godinho. He's, he's, been, he's, he's been poor. He is. I, I don't know. Maybe I've been a bit too harsh. Maybe he deserves, you know, a few more games. But, Stephen Notman's doing good to hold his position at the moment. Let's put it that way. I don't think there's any more goals coming to this. The job's done. Everyone's happy. We're into the next round. Uh, which, I think the draw is after this. Uh, so, Maybe we'll do the draw. We'll do the draw before getting to the Montrose game. I don't think I'm going to make any more changes. We've got three minutes added on. Will there be another goal? Can Morel still get that fourth? Can he get a fourth goal? So, you know, end this game in style. But no, it doesn't look like it. McCrory's going to take it all by himself. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not win. Could you imagine that? Can you imagine him just running out and scoring the goal? It would not surprise me. I got a feeling Stenos Mira are going to score here. They're going to ruin our fun. It's a decent cross. <laughs> Hit the back of his head. I'm sure he meant to do that. Right. Oh, they're going to, he's going to score. They're going to. Oh, look at that. Did you see the professionalism, the the athleticism of the goalkeeper, the way he just held that ball? The guy is. The guy's killing it. In this league, he is the best goalkeeper in this league, right as we speak. <laughs> I've just thrown it out there. I tell you what, they are dragging us out of time, aren't they? I mean, what are we on? Are we on? Are we on like uh, extend? No, why would I extend highlights for? Bloody hell! No wonder we're taking ages, and they just bloody scored. I knew they were gonna do it. Gonna ruin our ruin our party. Winning this game without conceding a goal, and that's happened. Do we want to see it? Do we want to see it? Well, let's see how, how. I mean, I was messing around with the settings. Oh, that was terrible. I think I don't know what I don't know what um, McCroy was thinking there. To be honest with you, it was pretty poor by his standards. And Ross is, oh, yeah, the, I thought he was going to uh, he was going to shoot it. But there you go, three-one. Next round, let's see who we get. Okay, so it's not quite a live draw, uh, but as you can see after that impressive win over Stenhouse Muir, we find ourselves in the quarterfinals against Clyde at home. So it was another decent draw. We've got a very good chance, I'd say, to progress to the semi finals. It's, it's been a very good cut run so far. I mean, hey, I'm not, just, just saying, could we find ourselves winning some silverware this season? Who knows? But anyway, let's not think about that. We've got to put our full attention on Montrose and let's get right to it. Okay, so one change to tell you about. Marcus Godinho is back in the squad uh, in place of the injured Stephen Notman, who's pulled his hamstring. So he's done for about four, maybe five weeks, apparently. Uh, so that's one change to be made. And we're going to just, yeah, go out there and pick up where we left off. Uh, it's a good turnout again at Berwick. This is a big game for us. If we can get something out of this game, I'd be very, very pleased. 
Uh, so, can we expect anything from Aaron Mor Morrell tonight? You know, can he uh, continue where he left off? You know, if we get a goal, give Montrose something to think about. I still think we're going to lose this game based on how they're playing. They are playing pretty well. I don't think they've... Uh, I don't think they've lost a game this season, Montrose. I could be wrong. Um, I didn't bother to check the league table since. But so far, nothing going on. The first 10 minutes of the game, uh, Montrose with the shots, 52% possession on, on their side. I'm not... Mm, I don't know. I don't know what to expect in this game, to be honest with you. I just hope, at best, we'll get a draw. So we can start building up our fine form at the beginning of the season. But now I said that, you just know, you just know that it's not going to go that way. But tell you what, nothing happening. I'm very, I'm surprised actually. I expected more from this game. Uh, how is everyone doing tactics wise? Uh, everyone seems to be okay. Morel's on for six point five at the moment. We just don't need to make any changes at all. We're going to change nothing at the minute. But it, it's a quiet first half, I've got to say. We're moving up to fourth position. That's encouraging. And as usual, I'd like to know your comments and what you, what you think of this uh, save so far. I'm getting a couple of responses from you guys and yet another sub. So that's brilliant. I'm, I'm glad that, that uh, you seem to be liking this series. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. It's been such a fun fun season so far um, which at the minute is fun but I, you, you just know that <laughs> I'm going to get stressed the stress levels are going to go high uh, but it is half time at the minute and we've had one shot the entire game so it, it's yeah it's maybe it's a good it's a, it's it's lucky that we're nil nil at the minute we're going to just try and encourage him a little bit aren't we just we're the I'm just gonna lie to the players there. We're we're better. We're a better team. And uh, now at Montrose kicking things off. We're gonna expect them to throw everything at us. I I would imagine. So far, we still only have. Oh, we, we've got two shots on target. They well, actually two shots, but zero on target. Okay, let's let's get the let's get the stats right for you all. I mean, do I make any changes? I mean, what's going on? It's such a quiet game. In terms of highlights, McKenna's not playing very well. Neither is Morel. Um, I'm not going to take. I'm not going to take them off at the minute. I don't think. Defense seems to be doing okay, except for Johnny Fairman. He's on six point five. I'm going to take him off actually, Fairman. I don't think he's playing that that well. So we're going to one change we made. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, they scored. They've scored. That's the, pretty much the only highlight of the game. And yeah, let's be honest. I expected it. I didn't, you know, I didn't expect to get nothing out of this game. And I just, I was messing around with the tactics. I didn't quite see what was going on here. Yeah, it was just, yeah, we we're poor, poor defending, poor defending. Well, we're gonna have to, just, yeah, we're gonna confirm that. We're gonna have to just go for it, aren't we? That's the one. If we're gonna lose, if we're gonna lose. Let's let's lose by having a go let's try let's try and go for it I don't think there's anyone on the bench that's going to make any difference at all actually is this game I keep pausing this game well we've got a chance for a miracle here to, to get something out of this game oh it's a free kick and so I nothing to worry about we've still got time we've got to start believing we've entered a rocky patch of the season I've got to say but anyway, we're on the ball though. We're on the ball. Can we find someone? Levy, can he keep it in? He can. Morel, it's, it's a penalty. Yes, I saw that. Clear as day, it's a penalty. But who is taking the penalty? It's McKenna. McKenna, the chance to save us, or put us back in the game. What a penalty that is. Michael McKenna scores. Fourth goal of the season. If anybody was going to get us back into the game, it's that guy. He, he's, uh, he, he's, not, he's not celebrating. He's not that type of guy, people. He, he just... It doesn't matter. But it's another free kick. We blocked the shot. It's a corner. I thought that was going to go in. It was a decent block by all accounts. Uh, I've still got the mentality on attack though. 
So I don't know whether I should leave it on on that, or or go back to being defensive. Perhaps I wasn't defensive in the first place, but I could go defensive. It's a I don't know I don't know. Oh God, what's he doing there? Just don't mess around. Don't try any fancy. Oh no! What was he doing, McCroy? What what kind of ball was? Oh, just clear it. Just clear it. McDonald, that was that was dangerous. That was dangerous. Oh, what we're doing here? What we're doing here, guys? What? Ah, uh, what was going on? Did I? You just you, you just knew it was going to happen, didn't you? What were they doing? What was everyone on that team on that field at the back? What were they doing? From McCrory kicking a ball, it was a very stupid ball to that to that fit, end of the pitch. Brian Ross decides to mess around by our corner flag. Errors everywhere. What what was that about? <laughs> oh, you stupid, stupid people! I can't believe that. That is just, I can't, I, we had every chance of coming away from this game with a point. And we just, oh, I don't know what to say about that. Don't, I don't know what to say. I'm not, I'm not confident now. I think we're just going to lose this game. I don't think we're going to get back into it at all. I don't think there's anyone on the bench to make any kind of difference whatsoever. I mean, I, I could take Morel off, but. Is McGrath going to do anything? Godinho playing bad again? That's that's not... That's to... It's just a, a late change. It was a very pointless... Pointless change, really. But I think I'm going to terminate his loan, I think. I'm not impressed. I'm just don't rate the guy at all. Oh, man. That is so annoying. It really is. We did, we did a good job getting back into the game. And we just decided to faff around at the back there. It started from McCrory doing that silly goal kick. He should have just... I don't understand why he did that. We didn't control the ball very well. That's a decent save. And there you go. And there you go. We lost 2-1. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, I said... I expected us to lose, right? But not like that. That's just ridiculous. I'm not happy with that. You, you're all you're all going to get it. I'm not happy with that. Right, so after that defeat to Montrose, we are, well, we've fallen down to eighth, but it's not major concern. One win, it still puts us back in the top four. So it's going to be quite an interesting league table, this, isn't it? You can tell. So anybody, really, from second place down could could potentially be involved in a relegation fight at this moment in time. Montrose are running away with it. They have lost once. Who'd they lose to? Elgin City. Right, okay, there you go. That, that, if you want to satisfy your curiosity, that's who they lost to. But anyway, that's the end of this episode. Uh, the next sort of games we've got to play, we've got, who we've got next? We've got Annan in the Scottish Second Cup, uh, Scottish Cup Second Round. And we've got Calden Beef at home. So, next episode then, uh, we'll, we'll see. We're probably going to play from Annan to Edinburgh City again. We got them. That was that was quick. Yeah, okay, so like the next episode then we probably will be seeing Edinburgh City again. We'll we'll find out. But uh, I'll think about that one. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, hit the like button, leave a comment. But more importantly, hit that subscribe button, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. So take it easy. Bye for now.